I don't wanna. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to die. But I've got no time left. I'm going to disappear from this earth. I'm going to cease to exist. No! Don't. Don't! Ah! <sighs> Who's there? We are using our every resource to fight your condition, Mummy. We can't give up hope. So you mustn't either. But it's my time! I even saw him last night. Death came for me. Come on. That wasn't death. He was just a patient from another ward. No. That man is not of this world. Look at his face. It's terrifying. Inhuman. A devil in the dark. A devil in the dark. The girl's got good instincts. Oh? Her awareness of her own illness. Her heightened fear of dying. These are products of her intuition. But if he started walking the halls at night, that is a worry. Perhaps he's too afraid to sleep. How is the patient doing now? Hmm. He'll wake soon. Shall we take a look? Hmm. I must confess, I'm not too familiar with his case. But he does seem interesting. Dr. Kuroda, could you tell me more? He's had some unique dreams, I hear. Ah, that's right. You're new here, aren't you? Let's head over there. Walk and talk. His name is Tetsuru Makoda. He's been here for around two months. He told me he's been having long dreams. Long dreams? How long do you feel they last for? Mm. Oh, let's see. They first began about a month ago. And every dream felt like it spanned two or three days. Hmm. So, every time you woke up, you felt like it had lasted a while? No. It was inside the dream that I felt time drag on. I felt it! I didn't believe it myself at first. But with every passing day, the dreams grew longer. Had they all been pleasant dreams, I wouldn't have minded. But the nightmares... They grew stranger, and I started losing it. Huh? And now? How long do your dreams last? Every night. About a year. I was barely able to keep it under control at that point. Wow. A whole year. You must believe me, Doctor. My day-to-day -day life is severely impaired. I can barely remember what happened yesterday. For me, it's, it's like trying to remember what happened last year. Hmm. I thought he was lying. Or at worst, that some kind of mental condition had led him to believe a lie. A year passing by in one night. It was absurd. In any case, I decided to admit the man and observe his sleeping patterns. And so it began. His entire body convulsed, and his eyes darted frantically. But it was over as soon as it had begun. According to brainwave readouts, it was then that he was in his deepest sleep. I had to wake him, then and there. Hey! Get up! You must wake! <laughs> hey! Were you dreaming just then? <laughs> Where am I? You're in hospital. You checked yourself in yesterday. Hospital? Uh. Yes. I remember now. I was in a hospital. Wasn't I? Oh, 
I had a dream, all right. It was terrifying. And it lasted a year and a half. A shiver went up my spine. He was telling no lie. I could just feel it. This man might actually have had a long dream. As I continued to observe him, I could only come to one conclusion. When he fell into a deep sleep, there was a brief moment where he went into convulsions. In that instant, he seemed to be dreaming. And yet for him, that one moment could feel like months and months. Hence the illusion of a long dream. But I still did not understand why he had the dreams at all. Doctor, when can I expect to be cured? Hmm. We're still looking at how best to treat you. Your patience at this time would be a great help. Last night I dreamt for ten years, Doctor. My dreams are growing longer and longer. I need you to understand this, Mr. Makoda. Your long dreams are just an illusion. In reality, they last only an instant. There is nothing to fear. You're always saying that because you've never dreamed as I have, Doctor. You've never felt how lonely they are. How filthy, how lonely, and how terrifying to behold. Last night, I was a soldier trapped in the jungle. Constantly on the run from the enemy. Ten long years, Doctor. So very long. The night before that, I was stuck cramming for tests. Nine years of endless exams and all-nighters. How about eight years of searching for a toilet that doesn't exist? How do you think that feels? I get it, but it's like I told you. It's only an illusion. We're working very hard to isolate the cause of your dreams. If you could hold on a little longer. All right, Doctor. But if you don't hurry, it won't be long until my dreams drag out a hundred or two hundred years. Were that to happen, I... I can't see what would become of me. As we had feared, the perceived length of his dreams was rapidly growing. We could see that much with our own eyes. For example, after his 20th day at the hospital, he could remember only with great strain the events of the previous day. It was as if 50 years had passed overnight. After a month, he would wake up every day speaking with a different intonation than he had before. It was like he was trying to talk to someone from another century. His brain showed signs of actually having experienced such length of time. He seemed lost in a different time and space to our own. Recently, things have gotten even worse. Even his body itself is physically changing. It looks as if he has evolved over an extended time. Physically? That's right, which brings us to now. It's this one. Mr. Makoda, are you awake? Where? Where is this place? Who are you? Don't you remember? My name is Kuroda. I'm your doctor. No! He's been acting like this lately. Every time he wakes. It's possible he believes himself still dreaming. Where is Mommy? Huh? Mommy! My love! Where is she? We've been married thousands of years and she's never left my side! Yes, yes. This must be the hospital where first we met. All those years ago, we met and fell in love in her room here. And you, you're the man that tried to keep us apart. 
Where are you hiding her? Where are you? <sighs> Mommy! Damn it! He's headed for Mommy's room. We must stop him! After seeing her in her room that night, he dreamed of her. He dreamed of marrying her. And in his mind, they've been together for centuries. He can no longer tell dream from reality. Mommy! Mommy! It's time to eat. Come on, dear. I don't want to. No, no, no! I won't die! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! <coughs> Mommy! Mommy, what's the matter? Get out! Go back to your room! Death? She called me Death. I see. So it was all a dream. The years we spent together. Nothing but a dream. In reality, I'm not her husband. I'm a man, she screams at and calls death. Dr. Kuroda, I'm scared, Doctor. If these dreams keep getting longer, perhaps one day they'll never end. And then, what will happen to me? What happens to the man who wakes from an endless dream? She's not looking too good. The most severe problem seems to be her fear of death. I've never seen a patient so terrified. Is there any news of Tetsuro Makoda? <laughs> we can't even imagine how far into the future he's gone this time. Look. One night, we recorded Mr. Makoda's most severe convulsions and eye movements yet. One found it easy to believe he had fallen into an endless dream. And what could he have even meant by an endless dream? An instant. That's all it was. Could an eternity really lie within? Or was that too nothing but an illusion? But really, one only needed look at him. All that remained were the scraps of a lifeless husk. His spirit had long since departed for that endless dream. From the crumbled remains of his brain, we discovered crystals of unknown properties. As for me, I tried to find the link between these crystals and the dreams he had, to no avail. The microscope would tell me nothing, no matter how hard I looked. Mommy sat down lately, hasn't she? It must be the beta blockers. But they didn't work before. Mommy. How are you feeling? Doctor... Kuroda... 
I feel a bit better today. Is that so? Just one thing. It's really weird. I've been having long dreams. Like living out a whole month in a night. Dr. Kuroda, it's about Mami Takashima. Have you noticed any change in her condition? She said she's been having long dreams. And they're getting longer and longer. Mm, so you've noticed it too. The changes will become physical, I suppose. Just like his were. What could this mean, Doctor? Could there be a chance of contagion? No. I'll tell you. And only you. The substance we extracted from Tetsuda Makoda. I've been administering to her. Huh? You can't be! To find its true application, we would have had to test it on humans sooner or later. No! Then... That means that you... You've been conducting experiments on Mami Takashima! Settle down, Yamochi. She's terrified of dying. What she fears most is nothingness. But what if she were able to dream forever? Then her spirit, my friend, would live forever too. Even if it were just in the illusion of an instant. Say we had the power to show everyone an eternal dream. Then mankind need never fear death ever again. Th that's... that's madness, Doctor! You would desecrate the souls of the dying? Doctor, I'm glad you're here. They were talking about something. Talking? That, that's impossible. There hasn't been activity in their brain to do that in years. What did the charts say for last night? The charts didn't say anything. Look, I swear, they said something. You're hearing things. When was your last break? Are you- They said it was a bad dream. Are you sure that's what you heard? Yes. Why? What's wrong? We should be happy. They're waking up out of a coma. You don't understand. P pull their blood. We need to do analysis. But, Doctor, there's... Maybe I missed the vein. There's no blood. Step away from the patient. But, but, where's the blood? Step away, nurse. They've got my head! Get up! Doctor, help me! They won't let go! How? There's no blood! How can it wake up if it doesn't have- Ha <laughs>